I'm Pete Kutzer with the Orvis Fly Fishing Schools. Today, I want to show you a couple great ways where you can change directions when you're fishing with your nymph. One way you can make an easy upstream cast is with that water haul. And we did a great video on that water haul where we peel this line off the water and we can send it back upstream. But let's say we've covered our water right here and we want to try and get a little bit farther out into the river. If we want to go a little bit further out, it's really, really difficult to send that line out in that direction. We start working really hard. We might get a lot of tangles. So here's a couple tricks or a couple things you can try that'll make that cast a little bit easier. The first thing is when we do our water haul, as soon as it lands, we can flip it back down a little bit away from us. And now we can make that water haul and send it a little bit further across. So just think, send it up, send it back, and then we can make that flip. So here's that again. I made a water haul upstream. I went downstream in this direction. Now I can go further across the river nice and easily where I can start to make that mend. So that's one way you can do a change in direction with that nymph rig. Here's another one. It's a little more fun to do in my opinion. And this is a simple spade cast that we can use with our single-handed rods. And this is a snap T, snap C. It's called a lot of different things, but this is essentially how it works. We're gonna take our rod, start it nice and low, and we're gonna make a smooth, big circle coming right back to where we started. When I do that big circle right there, what that does is that flips my nymph rig upstream of me right here. It kind of gets it in this nice, easy position where I can bring my rod around and then make a roll cast out here in that direction. So again, this is what it looks like in real time. Big circle, bring my rod around, and now I can roll cast it out towards that camera. Now I can get that multiple fly rig out here. This is a much more effective way than false casting a bunch of times with a nymph rig. If we have two flies, split shot, maybe an indicator, that's a great way to get tangled very, very easily. We wanna keep that loop as open as possible and keep everything well away from itself. So that big circle, bringing my rod around, now I can make that roll cast. I can now start to cover a lot more water with that unruly, potentially, nymph rig. So, you can do that water haul up, back down, kind of away from you. Now you're more kind of, you know, in a straight line towards your target. Just think you want to stay as close to 180 degrees as you can when you're making that cast. That's going to make it the most efficient. So if I want to cast over here, I got to set my flies up back over here. Flip it up, flip it back down in this direction. Now I can go up more and across. Another great reason for doing this water haul, change of direction, is when you have some obstacles behind you. But the problem with that cast is if you're right up against the trees, that big circle or snap C, bringing it around to a roll cast is a much more effective way to make that cast. I could be leaning right up against some bushes, make that big circle, my line's out in front of me, set it up, make that roll cast. This fly line never went behind me and wasn't gonna get tangled up. I have plenty of room here, so I can either do that series of water hauls or this circle C or snap C. It's got a lot of different names. Just think it's a big circle, then you're putting a roll cast to it. Big circle, bring it around, make that roll cast, rolls right out, and now we're fishing very efficiently and very effectively. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you next time.